Okay, we're we're at a spot. We're gonna walk down here, see what it's like. This is actually a pretty nice trail compared to most, which are not even really trails. Uh, it's got a little drop off here at the end, and some are uh, a pretty good challenge to actually get down to the water. Yeah, check out this little bird here. Looks like a little UFO. Woo. My wife's over there on the other side. We kind of walked and tried to get through and had a little bit of a accident, but it's all good. So this is a nice spot that is real calm right here. I can see a lot of stuff. I don't know what I can reach, but I see some jasper down here that is worth taking a look at. So I call this lightning jasper because of the white streaks and kind of chose to cut this one uh, just so you can see what that looks like once it's cut. And I think it makes a really nice cabochon or pendant, maybe some kind of display piece. A lot of times I kind of rotate the rock while I'm sawing it, so that way it's just not on the whole thing at once. And I tend to speed through the sawing a little bit on these videos, but yeah, look at that pattern. It's it's really cool and uh, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> mm. But uh, it is really beautiful in person. It's hard to see with the light changing, but... Jasper down here. It's kind of neat.
red rock coming right down into the water. It's pretty cool. gone too far here and I see some red. I can't walk straight over there. Right in there. Pretty good red. So I'm going to walk around. This area is actually pretty slick rocks and so I kind of had to use my camera stick which is about five foot long as a walking pole here and I do that quite often and sometimes it's why well, I can't film a certain thing because I need to steady myself so I don't wind up in the drink. that red. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? <laughs> Part two of this epic red jasper is on my Patreon channel as will all odd-numbered videos from now on. Sweet! <laughs>